Unveiling the true cost of Formula One, a divide in talent. In the world of Formula One, the question often arises, is the current reigning champion, Max Verstappen, truly the best racing driver on the planet? Unlike other sports where winning an Olympic event, a Wimbledon title or the World Cup crowns the undisputed champion, Formula One operates differently, raising concerns about the nature of talent and opportunity in the sport. It's undeniable that Max Verstappen secured his world title with remarkable skill and determination. However, one cannot overlook the fact that the pool of talent he competed against was relatively small. The colossal barrier to entry in Formula One is rooted in one simple reason – money. Even legends like Michael Schumacher had to technically pay to secure their seats in the elite racing league. As Lewis Hamilton aptly points out, Formula One has become a playground for billionaire kids. In this eye-opening video by DRS, we delve into the genuine cost of participating in Formula One and examine how the rise of so-called paid drivers could be making it almost impossible for non-billionaires to break into the sports. Many people find the allure of sports in knowing that the athletes on the main stage have triumphed over millions of competitors to earn their spot. Running, swimming and tennis are accessible to many individuals with relatively affordable equipment, making dreams of sporting success within reach for aspiring athletes worldwide. However, the world of motorsport, especially Formula One, operates on a vastly different level. While approximately 1.5 million children are involved in football in England alone, only approximately 13,000 kids actively compete in some level of go-karting. While F1 may be a dream for some, many nations lack the resources to develop Formula One drivers, making it an exclusive opportunity available only to a privileged few. Looking at the current F1 grid, it becomes evident that only a select few drivers have arrived within the last five years, and each of them either has wealthy parents, large corporate sponsorship, or the backing of one of the big teams. Entry into professional sports can be seen as a spectrum, with some requiring minimal initial investments such as running or football, while others like Formula One demand exorbitant costs. To embark on the road to F1, aspiring drivers need more than just talent. They need financial resources to cover a plethora of expenses including carts, engines, mechanics, multiple sets of tyres, fuel, training facilities and travel to various racetracks. Starting as young as 8 years old, even the smallest kart class can demand an investment of 60 to 70,000 euros, which is beyond the reach of many. The FIA outlines a pathway to F1 starting with Formula 4, followed by more powerful classes, but the costs escalate dramatically with each step. The journey from karting to F1 can cost a staggering $10 million, making it an incredibly costly endeavour. Nonetheless, F1 teams do scout for promising talent in lower motorsport categories, offering to sign them to academies and covering their expenses. While this provides some hope, it still requires substantial financial backing to even be noticed by the big teams. Unfortunately, even with talent, money plays a significant role in determining a driver's progression. Lewis Hamilton's early karting years, supported by his family's investment of around €60,000, and Sebastian Vettel's journey, which involved significant family spending of around €40,000, illustrate this point. The rise of pay drivers backed by wealthy parents or corporate sponsors further narrows the talent pool and even non-paid drivers need considerable financial support to compete at higher levels. Lance Stroll's path to F1 serves as an example. While he had an impressive junior career, his father's massive financial support, totaling around 80 million euros, set him apart from the typical route. Other drivers like Nikita Mazepin and Nicholas Latifi also enjoy similar advantages. Even Lando Norris, while not technically a paid driver, benefited from his family's wealth, which facilitated access to essential resources and opportunities. In Formula One, success often demands a delicate balance between talent and financial resources. 
The sport has historically seen cases where drivers with influential connections secured opportunities at the expense of other deserving talents. The selection process in academies can be cutthroat with underperforming talents easily discarded. As teams face the reality of the high costs involved, they are left with two primary options. Invest heavily in developing talent with the hope of a world champion emerging, or wait for a billionaire's child to finance their way into the sport. This divide raises critical questions about the essence of sporting competitions and the extent to which wealth influences success. While the truth about Formula One's financial landscape may be disheartening, the passion for racing and the pursuit of dreams continue to inspire individuals across the globe. DRS offers a platform to explore the most captivating stories of F1, from serious think pieces to compilations of hilarious moments ensuring you never miss a beat in the ever-evolving world of motorsport. Subscribe to DRS and join us on this incredible journey of discovery as we explore the thrilling world of Formula One with all its complexities, triumphs and challenges. See you next week for another insightful adventure.